Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, let's look at a few more cool cases by the brand ZTO Top for the new M1 iPad Pro and iPad Air 4. The manufacturer got in touch with me and asked me to check out their newest cases actually for the M1 iPad Pro. Guys, even before this, I have actually personally used this brand for my iPad Air 3 and even my iPad Pro and I was super impressed by the quality. So I'm very excited. Let's check them out. First, let's look at the blue one. This is my favorite kind of case. It is the magnetic case for iPad Pro. This will work for the 2020 model and even for the latest M1 2021 model of iPad Pro. Let's get it off the packing. And it's a nice blue color. As soon as you unbox, wow, you can feel the quality. This just feels amazing. Like I mentioned, guys, this is my favorite type of case. Even Apple offers theirs, but you have to spend upwards of 80 pounds to get one. But this costs under 20 pounds and the quality is pretty decent. The inside is with this nice microfiber material. And the color is amazing. I'm glad that I get to pick the color because I didn't want to do another black one. This blue absolutely looks stunning. Let's get my iPad Pro into the case. Again, that's one of the benefits of this kind of case. Simple magnets connected. You just slot it in and off you go. It's very minimal. It doesn't add any bulk to your iPad and the entire thing looks pretty decent. And the Apple Pencil as well fits right in. You got easy access to everything all around as it doesn't cover the corners. Let's look at the angles which it offers. The first one is this viewing angle. As you can see, it is nice and upright and it gives you the perfect angle to watch movies or videos. Now let's look at the typing angle. See, personally, I like a bit of upright angle rather than that slanting angle for typing. And this case does hold that angle in place. It hasn't got magnets to stick that triangle back, but it does hold that upright position as you can see. Let me try typing something and it's not going anywhere. It's perfectly in place and I love this upright angle. Also, the magnets are pretty strong. So I'm just giving a wiggle here, guys. It will fall out if you shake much harder. But for general usage, there is no issues. The iPad sticks properly to the back. And removing it is also so easy. People ask me, why do you have to remove it from the case? But if you use a keyboard dock or if you use a stand, then this is the best way. You can just get the iPad out of the case and then use it on the stand or your keyboard case. It's very neat very minimal and the quality is amazing. It hasn't got that extra flap bit guys for the Apple Pencil, but if you don't use Apple Pencil, then that flap is an extra bit which you have to contend with on some of the other cases. In this case, it doesn't matter because it hasn't got the flap and if you don't use the Apple Pencil, then it is just perfect for you. So that's the first magnetic case for the iPad Pros. As I said, it works for both 2020 and the 2021 models and it looks absolutely stunning. I love this color. Next, let me get my iPad Air 4 out. And I've got this case again. It's the magnetic case in pink shade. So if you can see, it's got that metallic pink. Again, the quality, unmistakable. It's very nice. And inside, you have this nice microfiber lining again to protect your screen and the back of the iPad. Now let's get the iPad in. Usually a rose gold iPad will go very well, but if you want this kind of contrast with green and pink going on, you can get this one as well. And as you can see, it's got the right cutouts for the camera at the back. And again, very minimal. It doesn't add much bulk or weight to your iPad. Easily accessible especially that Touch ID on the top. Again, it's got that sleep-wake option. 
and that upright angle for typing. If you prefer the slant angle, you can still get that with these cases and that perfect viewing angle. The quality is really amazing, guys. And as soon as you touch it, you definitely feel the quality. I so I can recommend this case. If you are a fan of this kind of magnetic cases, then do check them out. All the links will be in the description box below. Now, finally, this is their newest case. I haven't tried out many of these cases, so I'm excited. Let's unbox this. The packaging is premium quality. I mean, look at this. It's so nicely packed. You opened it, off it comes. Okay, wow, we have got instructions, but this is a total different kind of case, guys. I haven't checked the videos or anything about what this is. So let's figure out as we go. That's the warranty card there. And wow, look at that. So it seems like it's a total enclosed case. We'll come back to that. We also got wipes here. We got both wet and dry wipes. So back to the case. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's definitely an enclosed case. So your iPad will sit within the case and the top is a film. So it's like a screen protector built in. And you can see, I definitely need to read the instructions on what to do. So yeah, the back is silicon and it is flexible, but it is quite sturdy. The thing is that you have to pry out the edges and try to get that film cover bit of the top out of the grooves. Okay, that is a little tricky, but yes, I managed to get that out. Okay, it's out finally. And as you can see, that is a screen protector, which is kind of built into the top frame. Idea is that you unpeel this and then lay it on top of the iPad. Let's look at the bottom bit. Wow, that is very sturdy. The quality, again, amazing. And at the back, you have this kickstand. So that nicely slots into place. Wow, I'm so impressed by the quality of this, guys. Let me get the iPad in. But I think I'm doing this wrong. I need to check the instructions once more. So now I've got the top frame slotted on the iPad. So if you can see the four corners, actually, I slotted it on to the iPad. And now the thing is that you have to get this whole top frame with your iPad into the bottom bit. Okay, I had to do a little bit of flexing around off camera and I finally managed to get this in place. This definitely is one of the toughest cases which I've installed seriously, but the protection which it's gonna offer is second to none. So as you can see, I've got all the corners slotted in nicely. The back is silicon rubberized, it's flexible, but it's still quite sturdy. So you need to take your time to get your iPad in. And now, as you can see, even though I haven't peeled the inside screen protector because I already have a screen protector on the iPad, but as you can see, it still works. The screen is very responsive. So the idea of the case is that it encloses your iPad completely with an inbuilt screen protector on the top and it's sturdy as hell. This is built like a tank. So nothing's going to happen to your iPad ever. And if you can see, it's got cutouts for everything, all the ports, even at the top, the sensors. So it's got the cutouts for all of them. And it's doing it right. Even your USB Type-C charging port is covered by this rubber bit, so it keeps dirt out. And as you can see, even though the top frame is covered, you know, the entire borders are covered, the sensors still work. So it's picking up my face ID, no problem. And the orientation is working as well. The volume switch also does work. Now let's try that kickstand. So just pull that and slot it into place. And wow, that is sturdy and it gives you a very decent angle for watching videos or generally using your iPad. And you can flip the stand so that it gives you that typing angle as well. So perfect, you don't have to really adjust the stand anyway. You just 
put it into one position, it gives you the viewing angle and put it into the other position, it gives you a more slant angle for typing. So very decent case guys. And as you can see, it's built like a tank. Really, your iPad will be the safest in this kind of a case. You can throw it in your backpack, you can throw it in your bag without being extra careful or cautious. It's not going to bend. Your iPad is going to be secure and safe within this case. That hinge mechanism for the kickstand is pretty solid. You just lift it and slot it into place. It's not going to go anywhere and it is staying very sturdy. And with that entire screen protector film, mind you guys, I already got another screen protector applied on my iPad. It's still very responsive. It's working perfectly fine. As you can see, I can navigate without any issues. I can do the multitasking gestures and even the control center, everything is very responsive. It works perfectly fine. The charging port is also super accessible. Again, as I said, it's got this nice rubberized bit, which covers and protects it. And as you can see, the cable goes in without any issues. Now, let's try out the Apple Pencil. If you can see, actually, it's got the cutout here and it's in the shape of the pencil itself. So you have to place it by the tip pointing this way and it slots right in place. So as you can see, it's slotting in nicely and it is getting in contact. So it is connected and it's charging as well. And then let's test out the Apple Pencil. It's very responsive. Actually, the screen protector, the film is making it slightly better than writing it on glass. The screen protector has got a bit of a texture to it. So it's definitely not as smooth as writing on glass. So there you go, guys. This is the ZTO top case for your iPad Pro which got built-in screen protector. It's got dual layer shock proof and it's a full protective cover with pencil holder. So yes, amazing cases by ZTO Top. I like all the ones which I've tested. The magnetic case is perfect if you like that kind of cases. It's very easy, it doesn't add any bulk. It's perfect for both your iPad Pro and iPad Air 4. And then this fully protective case with built-in screen protector it is one of a kind with amazing kickstand and it's going to offer you that complete protection to the iPad Pro. If you're worried about your iPad bending or if you're going to use your iPad in your backpacks or whilst traveling, this is going to be the perfect case for you. The surprising thing is that even with all these layers of protection, it doesn't add that much of a bulk as it looks really. So thanks to ZTO Top for arranging me to get these cases and test it out on my channel. Like I mentioned before, I already used these cases before and I'm absolutely loving them. The quality is amazing and I can highly recommend these to you guys. All the links will be in the description. So please do check them out. And that's all for the video, guys. If you liked it, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button and join Team Brav Media and we can keep this channel going. And as always, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.